welcome back to our channel in today's video we're diving into the ultimate showdown between zendesk and zoho desk which help desk software reign supreme let's find out okay so for those who are new here in zoho it's basically a comprehensive suite of cloud-based business applications designed to streamline various aspects of business operations including customer relationship management which is called crm project management email marketing accounting and more now to get you started you might want to click on the sign up button in the upper right corner click on that and you can easily start your free account today but just for providing your email and password and agree to this term of service you can also sign in using your google account your linkedin account or your microsoft account and once you click this sign up free button you're all set now once you've done that these are the services that zoho offers obviously from crm from mail from desk assist social creator analytics and a lot more now m most of their applications right here it's all highly customizable when you click on the mobile apps. It's the interface of these apps are very intuitive, user-friendly, and make it easy for users to navigate and use the applications effectively. Now, the platform provides Apple documentations and tutorials and customer support to assist users in getting started and resolving any issues. They also have a very active community wherein you can access zoho community you can engage and learn from each other you can ask questions give answers and join a z ug near you because they are very active accommodating to any questions that you might have so at least one of the best features in zoho community because i'm a part of this of um this as well so you have like um so many announcements here topics and upcoming events and the most discussed topics that you might have questions in your mind and you're um a little bit embarrassed to ask about it you might want to skim in through all these topics that you can gather from the zoho community now let's talk about crm when you click on try now as you can see zoho integrates seamlessly with other third-party applications and services such as google workspace microsoft office 365 and various e-commerce platforms now this integration facilitates data sharing and enhances productivity by connecting zoho with exi existing tools and systems and you can maximize the productivity with minimum use it's very easy and once you wanted to access zoho zrm you might want to click on this button right here to give you um, a live demo hello just wait up and from here as you can see zoho applications are accessible via web browsers and mobile apps allowing users to manage their business operations on the go and this mobility enables remote work and enhances productivity for users who need to access their data from anywhere right it's very um, efficient and um easy to use now in terms of the pricing here are some of the uh, basic plans for you you have the standard which is 14 dollars a month you could have an automate and optimize your sales cycles and the most popular is the enterprise package which is build um for 40 dollars a month you can manage global cx operations with the complete crm and matter of fact you can always choose the bundles right here we're in crm plus You'll get access to Zoho ZR CRM Plus and Unify Sales Service and Marketing on one platform. That's going to be $57 a month. And you also have the CRM Flex. Now, all of these are dependent, obviously, on your budget constraints, needs, and goals. But you might want to take that in into consideration be choosing between Zoho Desk and to our next contender, which is Zendesk. It's a popular customer service platform that provides a range of tools for businesses to manage customer interactions and support tickets. So I'm using Zendesk right now. And if you are interested to know more about Zendesk, you might want to click on the free trial button here. The purple one in the upper right corner to get you started. And from here, all I'm going to do is just follow the on-screen instructions. 
and you're all set now on the get go here in zendesk it's um intuitive and easy to use interface you have your main dashboard you can click on the main home page you can add your team you have the ticketing system say for example for the trial right now which i'm using you can add four team members you can assign the role here one is going to be an agent one's going to be an admin an agent or say for example one admin and three agents and all you're going to do is click on the email addresses of the team members add them here so that they would have their own access on your collaborative dashboard here in zendesk it's very easy now in terms of the ticketing system you can manage all tickets in one place it's very easy because from here you can see all the contact info interaction history and details and you can loop in teams without leaving the ticket you can even assign the ticket to a specific team member so that it's going to be easier for all of you now a good thing about zendesk is they can help you solve tickets faster because they have macros provide quick responses at a click now in terms of the macros say for example you go to your unsolved tickets maybe click on it and from here obviously you have a sample mid ticket right here you can just simply get for the uh reply you can put an at and you can put say um for example customer you can add bot here or macros integration say um reply or welcome or at delay say for example you have delay related um concerns you might want to click on at delays and obviously the macro integration will give the automate automatic replies for you so you don't have to type everything that's one of the best things about um zendesk and obviously you can customize all of these the requester you can assign this ticket to your group members to an admin or whatnot and you can even follow that uh, thread so that you are on the loop and again you can also put some customized tags here so that it's going to be easier when you search for the specific email threads right here when you click on it it's going to be easier to load up you can um, choose the types from question incident problem or task and you can also change the priority from low to urgent and you can also click some link problems say for example if there's an overlapping of um thread so you might want to link that so it's going to be one huge email instead of too much emails for all the agents working here to answer all of them and here's um the uh it's a very basic dashboard it offers extensive customization options based on the reporting dashboard to meet the specific needs and branding requirements when you hover down here below in the uh So again, these are the features. You can use macros, automations. Click on this one. You also have the triggers. We're going to dive deep in the uh, triggers in now for the reporting. If you want to play the video to take a tour, it's okay. But let's keep that for now. And the reporting is powered by Explore. You can have a Zendesk support, Zendesk guide, Zendesk talk, and Zendesk chat. All right. Now, when you click on the apps and integrations down here, you can simply connect the your business tools in Zendesk Marketplace. It's a one-stop shop to make all types of integrations seamless. You're going to be able to create a unified customer experience and that fits your business. And of course, Zendesk has over 1,200 apps and integrations in the Zendesk Marketplace. Now, when you click on the Explore the Marketplace, as you can see, you can connect everything within a few clicks. Find partner apps like Slack, Jira Software, Shopify, MailChimp, Google Play, and a lot more. And all I'm going to do is click on the Explore All Apps button here down below down below and again choosing between zendesk and zoho depends on your specific business requirements preferences obviously and budgets because i believe both platforms offer robust customer service solutions with um similar core features but there are just differences in terms of pricing 
customization options, and a lot more. And in conclusion, I believe that Zendesk here may be the preferred choice for businesses that prioritize extensive integrations, capabilities, advanced automation, and comprehensive reporting and analytics. Now, on the other hand, Zoho Desk may be more suitable for businesses seeking an affordable but user-friendly solution with seamless integrations with other Zoho applications. And again, ultimately, it's essential to evaluate both platforms based on your specific needs and preferences and budget before making a decision. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.